it sounds like a joke, but apparently this is real. This is a real job, Mark. Is it the sort of thing that you'd like to apply for? I'd, I'd love to apply for it. It sounds like such a cool job, doesn't it? Um, you know, you, you cover the men in black uh, in, in the, the VT just there. And the concept of protecting our planet is, is actually a very real one. Um, but also, it's not just about protecting our planet, it's also about protecting other planets. So, you know, whilst we're worried about potential alien invasion and also uh, organic compounds maybe being brought back and infecting us here on Earth, we've also got to make sure that we don't infect any other worlds. So, so okay, just to explain, because it was as Kate was suggesting, it, it's not quite Men in Black. It does sound a little bit he health and safety-ish, uh, Mark. What exactly does this person have to do? Do they get any sort of laser or phaser or ray gun? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know, if they did, I would be the first one to be applying for it. I don't think there's going to be any ray guns. Essentially, what they've got to do for their job is they've got to make sure that firstly we're protected so we spend you know we, we've got there's this concern isn't there that you know we've, we're, we're constantly finding um, planets elsewhere in the in the universe we've found um, up to upwards of 3,000 other planets around other star systems and you know that increases the chance that there may be life out there so we've got to be aware um, of how we might be able to protect our planet from such things as alien invasion the chance of that are very slim of course but it's a possibility very very small though it is but it's also making sure that, that you know, we're not infected. So, for example, the Apollo astronauts, when they went to the moon, they were um, sort of locked up for 21 days in this mobile contamination or quarantine unit to make sure that they didn't bring any, any contamination back to us here on Earth. But it's also to make sure that all the spacecraft that we're sending out into space doesn't take any human um, contamination off to other planets and other worlds. So there's actually quite a lot of stuff to think about, but they are offering a, a pretty hefty salary of something like 127 to 180,000 US dollars per year, which is quite, quite a tempting salary. Tempting salary and the best chat-up line ever. Yeah. I'm saving the world from aliens.